Hey everyone, I want to do a little quick tutorial on how to do pitch overlays similar to what you see on Pitching Ninja. So I have my two videos here, a fastball and a changeup that I'm going to overlay. Um, the main thing to do is when you're recording is to record on a tripod so everything is everything in the frame is the same and it's not a different angle. So I take my first video, I'll drag it to the timeline. I'm working in Premiere, so I go to the point, the release point. I already have it marked off, marked off at this point. This is, I have it right at the frame before it leaves the hand. So if you hit M, you get that green marker there. This is where it's at. The next frame is it's leaving his hand, so I have it right there. I'm going to get rid of the audio track because we don't need it. I'm going to bring the other video over, get rid of the audio track, and same thing here. This is marked right at this point, right before release point. So it's the same on both videos. I'm going to double click on this first video, go to effect controls. Go to opacity, click that, changes to 50%. I'm going to go to the second video, double click it. This video is a little blurry, but it'll still work. Go to effect controls, opacity, just like last time, 50%. So now I'm going to put one on top of the other, match up the release point. In that green marker. So this video is taken in slow motion with the iPhone and this is what it looks like. As I said before this is a fastball and changeup overlay. The two pitches tunnel well, as you can see in this video, right until about there. Let me slow it down. We have the fastball up here, change up down here. They tunnel well until about here when they start to diverge. And the fastball ends up here, the change up down here. Or even a little lower. So that's it. That's the process. Um, if you're familiar with Premiere or any editing software, then it's pretty easy. And even if you're not familiar with them, it's relatively easy, easy to learn.